Hi everyone, so uh, this uh, perhaps is the final part uh, of this transportation problem in which I'll be discussing optimality. So this was the solution which we discussed and in that I found one negative that shows that solution is not optimal. So in order to remove this negative what we should do is I should start making a particular loop. So that loop can be uh, more, more, more or less it is supposed to be clockwise and you can also form sometimes in the need of uh, if it is required you can form it anti-clockwise so you should always start with the negative cell if you're finding two negative cells then always start with the largest negative leave um, the least negative because uh, uh, that can automatically be removed so let's start from this particular cell the loop should always hit an allocation and then only it should move moment it should hit an allocation it should move so i'm going to uh, leave this 15 right here i'm going to hit that delta and then I'm going to move to 15 and then I'm going to close this particular loop here. So this loop has certain properties. It should have uh, means apart from the negative cell, it has, it must have allocations on all the other corners and uh, you can jump the allocation. Moment it hits an allocation, it should turn in the direction. That means it should, it should move 90 degree. So it's not necessary that after every time you find a cell, this simple loop, you can all sometimes you just have to go through this cell, this cell, and you know so so many places in the table. So what I should do after forming this particular loop is I have to see what are the allocations uh, on the edges of this loop. The allocations are 10, delta, which is nearly equal to zero, and 15. Out of these three, delta is basically it is an artificial allocation, so I will not be considering it. Out of these two, I have to see the minimum minimum is 10 so this 10 should be added here then moving clockwise it should be removed from here and it should be added here and this should be removed from here so uh, let me go ahead and let's see how the new allocation is uh, going to look like so I'm going to add plus 10 first of all if you could see that here there was negative 4 so I'm going to add plus 10 here so 10 is allocated here then I have to minus 10 that means this particular 10 should be removed so I'm going to remove this particular 10 so there will be no allocation at all then in third particular cell I was having my regular allocation which was equal to 5 then I'll see my second column in my particular second column if you can notice there was no allocation in here 15 it was not touched so I'm going to put in 15 here and again my third particular cell was not having allocation so I'm leaving this one also vacant. If I go to my fourth out of 15 10 should be deleted so I am going to put it 5 15 minus 10 is 5 then uh, the cell allocation at uh, the place of 7 what is there 10 should be added so, uh, so it was 0 delta is nearly equal to 0 so I'm adding 10 here and then the last particular remains as it was and rest of the allocations I'm going to repeat there was no allocation in here no allocation in here and it was 5 the most important part which you should notice is that the supply and demand should not change why this plus minus 10 I'm doing to maintain the balance because it is now 10 plus 5 is 15 this is a cross check 10 plus 15 is 25, 5 and 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 is here, 10 plus 5 is 15, 5. So I am good to go. Now it, you can also notice that degeneracy is now removed because how many allocations I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which were initially 5 in the previous table. So there are 6 allocations which are equal to row that means 3 rows plus column that means 4 columns. So 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 1 that is equal to 6. So my uh, number of allocations are equal to rows plus column minus one so degeneracy is also removed now again i'll check this particular thing for optimality so again i'll take u1 u2 and u3 and similarly v1 v2 v3 and v4 so i have in all three rows i have equal uh, allocations that means two in each case so i can put any u equal to zero so again I'll start with by putting u2 is equal to 0 so I can easily calculate v2 which is going to be 9 v3 is equal to 9 v2 is equal to 7 then uh, I can calculate u1 from here by using u1 plus v2 is equal to 2 so I already know the value of v2 so u1 is going to come to be minus 5 and similarly the v4 uh, I can calculate again right from here and what will be the value of v4 you can easily calculate 11 and here is minus 5 so this value is going to come out to be 16 because u1 plus v4 is equal to 11 
so u1 is minus 5 and that's how you can calculate u1 so i'll show uh, one particular thing how you can calculate uh, v1 right from here okay okay how do you calculate v1 and u3 which are left so you can calculate u3 from here so i'll show you one particular calculation how to calculate u3 from this cell i can use u3 plus v4 is equal to 18 so u3 plus v4 is equal to 18 so i already know the value of v4 which is 16 so u3 plus 16 is equal to 18 so u3 is going to come out to be 18 minus 16 that is 2 so u3 is going to be uh, 2 right so it is going to be 2 then uh, i can calculate by using this uh, the value of v1 which is going to be u3 plus v1 is equal to 4 so 4 minus 2 it will come out to be 2 any any i don't think there is any confusion now because it will be like again i'm repeating this thing v3 u3 plus v1 is equal to 4 so then u3 value goes on other side and becomes 4 so now i'll be uh, putting up the values once again it will be 2 plus minus 5 it is going to be minus 3 here 9 plus minus 5 which is going to be 4 16 plus 0 which is going to be 16 9 plus 2 is 11 7 plus 2 is 9 2 plus 0 is 2 and this is going to be 10 minus 3 so 10 minus minus 3 10 plus 3 is how much 13 then it is 20 minus 4 which is 16 20 minus 16 which is 4 12 minus 2 is 10 14 minus 9 is 5 16 minus 11 is 5 now my all these values are positive or 0 so my solution is optimum so this is my optimum solution now if you could see how these things can change since I was getting negative in this cell this cell is allocated so I don't have to calculate this particular value right here right this is also called as opportunity cost now if I calculate transportation cost from here so as per my calculation it is coming out to be rupees 435 which was initially 475 so basically there is a difference which i have created of uh, you know how much 40 right no 30 no okay 40 40 so this is the transportation cost and that's how the entire solution can be optimized of a transportation problem thank you post your questions